sorry to interrupt you all, but there's just the teensy weensy problem of today's TV show. Anyone remember that? The one that starts in five minutes? Four minutes now. Not helping. OK, now I'm going to make a crazy suggestion that we all play a lovely little game called Let's Get Ready for the Show. Chill out, Luce. We're all good to go. Oh, right. So you've run through the script, you've positioned all your props, you've done all your research and you know all your cues. No. No. But I have made a smoothie out of three tins of spaghetti hoops. Do you want some? Ooh, let me just think about that. Um, no, thanks. I'd rather eat my own head. OK, now, before we start, I just want to introduce this week's extra special guest. He is one of the most famous and prestigious inventors we have ever had on this show. So please, let's just try not to accidentally set fire to his hair. Anything like that, OK? May I present, and I can't believe I'm actually saying this, <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell. Mr. Bell. <laughs> Finally, another mighty Scots intellect with whom I can have a stimulating conversation. <laughs> Mr. Bell, I am Professor Alice Dare McTaggart. Hang on PhD, a second. Expert I've in... heard of you. <laughs> so good to meet you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so good. I'm so honoured to be shaking hands with the guy who invented the bell. No, the telephone, Mark. He invented the telephone. <laughs> well, <laughs> Not just the telephone. I was responsible for inventing many other things too, of course. Oh, were you? I, I didn't know. Ah, well, as it happens, I developed one of the first composting toilets. Right. Yes, very good. Um, not quite so popular as the, uh, as the mobile phone, though. I mean, you don't carry a, a mobile composting toilet around in your pocket, do you? Oh, no, I, I just mean that phones are great, really. Always That's... the telephone. That's all they ever want to talk about. Dude, phones are amazing. How else do people send me photos of cats dressed as Yoda? I find them far too noisy and irritating. I never meant for them to be so successful. I just wanted a quiet and peaceful life. Well, don't worry, because we're a very quiet and peaceful show, so I'm sure you're going to be extremely... Stop! What are you doing? Ah, want to look smart for today's show, so just running up a new pair of trousers. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Bell. Perhaps you'd like to wait in the dressing room. OK, sorry. Can we just have a quick selfie before you go? Thank you. Bob, you're making too much noise. Why don't you just do what I do? Switch your ears off. Ah, now I can't hear anything. We can't turn our ears off, Tin Brain. We haven't got any choice except to listen to your racket. Can you go and do this somewhere else? Like... The moon. I'm sorry, I did not hear any of that. Would all performers please take their positions? The show is about to begin. OK, everyone, let's make sure this week's show isn't too noisy, OK? Oh. Sorry. But right. have a really good show, OK? Good luck. Prepare yourself for an insane look at what they don't tell you in the science books. From inner space to the universe, we're on the case to face the worst. It's icky and it's whiffy and it's yucky and it's squishy but we love it.